everyone, Alexia here from the blog thedovalhomeset.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make einkorn Belgian waffles. This is a family favorite for us. We make it once a week and then we actually freeze it and then take it out throughout the week. Waffles are a great quick morning breakfast, especially when you can just throw them in the toaster. And of course, I like to do everything homemade. So this is a great option for our family because sometimes we just are eating breakfast on the go if we're taking Allison to gymnastics or something like that. And this is way better than buying, I'm just gonna say it, Eggo waffles or something from the store. Not like they are terrible for you, but if you're gonna be having something a lot every day, like what we're doing right now with these waffles, we're just kind of addicted to them. So we are making them on the weekend and then freezing them throughout the week. And they are just great for a snack or breakfast and they are made with healthy ingredients. So my major goal here was to turn a classic Belgian waffle recipe into a healthy einkorn recipe. It is early in the morning today. I managed to get up before my baby, which is my favorite thing to do, especially when I have this beautiful morning sun and I have a chance to prepare our breakfast before anyone wakes up. So I'm going to take you along with me. I'll probably get interrupted at some point. We're going to make einkorn Belgian waffles. Most recipes I find online for waffles are full of vegetable oil, sugar, and I want to make this recipe something that I was okay with eating all the time. Now I don't mind eating a store-bought waffle every once in a while, but if we're going to be eating these every day or even once a week, I want to make sure all the ingredients are really clean. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be using coconut oil and maple syrup instead of a processed sugar. I'm also going to be using two farm fresh pasture raised eggs, a little bit of protein in there, and of course the einkorn flour instead of the regular flour. So you're going to start off with three cups of einkorn flour. I like to use the Jovial one. I'll link the one I used below. You can actually get it on Amazon. You know I love to use einkorn because it is a healthier flour. It is non-hybridized grain, which means it is an ancient natural forming grain that has not been stripped away of any of its original properties. It is higher in protein and lower in gluten, so it's generally easier for your body to digest it. And with the higher protein content, it's also better for your body to assimilate other nutrients with it. So what I mean by that is if you just have a piece of toast for breakfast, it's not going to sustain you very long because it is so simple in terms of its nutrient content. There's not a whole lot there. But if you have something like einkorn toast, there's a little more protein, so that's actually going to last you a little bit longer throughout the day. Then you're going to add one tablespoon baking powder, a quarter cup maple syrup, this is your natural sweetener, and also a half a cup coconut oil, two pasture raised eggs, half a teaspoon salt, and I have my little helper here who woke up, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Two cups of milk. I like to use a whole milk here, something really rich. Of course, you could also substitute for a non-dairy milk if you want as well. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Then you're just going to take that over to your mixer and get them all mixed up. Note that the batter will be more liquidy at first. This is because the einkorn flour takes longer to absorb all the wet ingredients. So you wanna let it sit five or 10 minutes to thicken. You'll notice it'll get thicker with time. Use a ladle to dollop the batter into the center of the waffle maker. The dough will spread. You do not need to fill the entire waffle maker from end to end with dough or else it will overflow. Now I'm using a non-stick waffle maker here because this was gifted to us a while ago for Christmas and I have to say it works very well. However, I don't like using non-stick. I believe it's toxic. I don't like to use this waffle maker and I did try a cast iron waffle maker without success. I can't tell you how many times I tried to make that thing work and I couldn't do it. So we are using this non-stick waffle maker for now and I'm on the lookout for a healthier option. And if you have any ideas, let me know. I was really thrilled about the cast iron one, but it just would not work for us for some reason. I'm using a setting 4.5 on this waffle maker. Now, if you want to add chocolate chips or blueberries or something like that, just add them right away into the waffle batter on, the, on top, and then they'll cook inside the waffle really nicely. Now I find these waffles last one to two days in the fridge. So you could make them on you know, a Sunday morning and then eat them on Monday as well. But they go downhill after that. They just don't taste very good. But if you freeze them right away, so right after you make them, after you eat them that day, 
they come out amazing when you just throw them in the toaster, just like any other frozen waffle from the store. So I highly recommend freezing the leftovers. When the waffles are done, transfer them to a cooling rack. This will allow them to cool without getting soggy. If you stack them on top of each other, they might get a little bit soggy. As much as I love preparing all of our meals from scratch every single day, there are just those times when you don't have time to prepare a meal. So having something in the freezer ready to go is a really important thing in our house. Lastly, you can sprinkle with powdered sugar for a little extra treat. Although when I'm eating these during the week or something just as a snack, I don't put anything on here except for butter and they're just so good. All right, it is time for us to finally eat this breakfast, so I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to my page, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Every week I post a new video on farm-to-table recipes and homemade natural living. Thank you so much for stopping by the Duval Homestead. Mm -hmm.